creating a VLAN on a switch is easy. However, to remove it, you have to be careful. When VLANs are created, they are listed in a file known as a VLAN.dat file, and this file is located in Flash. To remove the VLAN, you have to delete that VLAN.dat file. If you accidentally delete the Flash uh, instead of the VLAN.dat, you will hose your switch. Let's go into the Flash, and I'll show you some of the files that are located there. As you can see, there is no VLAN.dat at this point because there have been no VLANs created. Now the flash, the flash file that you have to be weary of is this file right here. Of course your file varies from switch to switch, but this is the ISO, the image file. If you were to delete this by accident, your switch would no, no longer function. You would have to reload that uh, ISO file, that binary file. Now let's go into the VLANs and sh uh, show you the ones that are created by the system themselves. They are default VLANs. There are five VLANs that are default. You have your VLAN 1, which is your native VLAN. You have VLANs 1002, 1003, 4, and 5, which are for different topologies. These VLANs cannot be uh, deleted at all. At this point, let's go ahead and create VLANs. I'm going to create three different VLANs, and I'll name them, uh, oh, let's say, Sales, uh, R&D, and Marketing. To create a VLAN, you do have to go into your Global Configuration file. And simply type in the VLAN that you need to create, plus the name for the VLAN. Okay, now I have created three VLANs, three VLAN 10, 20, and 30, named Sales, R&D, and Marketing, respectively. Let's go back into Show VLAN and see if those have actually been added to the system. As you can see, VLANs 10, 20, and 30 have been added to the system here. Now what we'll do is go back to the Flash to see if that VLAN.dat file has been created. And as you can see, that VLAN.dat file is located right here. That was the simple part. Now let's go ahead and delete those uh, VLANs. Let's say we no longer need them. By just clearing out the configuration of the switch, uh, that will not clear the VLANs out. You actually have to delete them. So let's go through deleting these VLANs 10, 20, and 30. You start by typing in the command delete v, uh, flash colon vlan.dat again it's delete flash colon vlan.dat once that's typed in hit your enter key you're prompted to confirm you're prompted to confirm again just hit your enter key and now they have been deleted almost what you need to do at this point is to put the switch through a reload session. To do this, just type in the word reload, the command reload, hit your enter key, and now it'll say that it's been, uh, the configuration has changed, you want to save it, you have to confirm yes or no. In this case, yes. Hit your enter key again. It's saving. Now it wants to know if I want to proceed with the reload. All you have to do at this point is just hit your enter key to proceed. Now, I'm in a Telnet session, and this will terminate the Telnet session, so what I will do is I will start back up after this reload has been completed. Okay, the switch has gone through its reload, and now we're going to go back into our VLANs to see if the VLANs 10, 20, and 30 still exist. As you can see, they do not. VLANs 10, 20, and 30 are no longer in the VLAN database. What we have here is our defaults VLAN 1, VLANs 1002 through 1005. 
Let's go into the flash to see if the vlan.dat file has also been removed. Again, correct. No vlan.dat file to be found here. This has confirmed that you have successfully removed these VLANs from the system. This has been just a basic tutorial on how to create and delete a VLAN in a Cisco switch. Thank you for watching.